Hey, goobers, after the interview done? Yep, right, guilty as charged. We are having some fun in this room. We're getting to know each other. subject is probably reading. We're building relationships. But on top of that, this year's really kicked off with many rich conversations about the role technology plays in our lives. Yeah. We're trying to find out how we can make it easier for our partners to learn. We're recognizing that technology has completely transformed our abilities to communicate across multiple channels with multiple communities of people all around the world. The stories we hear on YouTube or social media or any community we choose to engage in online shape our perceptions of people. Now, I understand these are third, fourth, and fifth graders, and they're not ready for social media. I totally get that. That's not what I'm saying. But they will be someday, and very soon. Here at school, they already interact in private, school-safe online communities, such as Google Classroom and Seesaw. What I am saying is, we're going to start building the foundational skill sets they need to be a good human behind the screen and in person. So instead of sitting behind the game remote or feeling confused and misled by a YouTube message they can't quite interpret, we're putting them in charge of the experience so they can analyze and interpret that message. So they can create a game through code, they can find solutions to problems, and they can transcend stereotypes through stories. We know that we utilize the tools that best help us communicate ideas. And when many of us were in school, we used the paper and pencil. We read books only. Why? Because those are the mediums of our generation. Today, multimedia is the medium of this generation. And technology is a critical tool for literacy today. It's on. Started. Why video? Why video? I want my message to be. Why am I talking about this? Simply because, Mike. Point number one, we can, brother. I believe Earth was made for everyone to unite. Dang it. Dang it. Wake up. Oh, it's so close. <laughs> right now that we have access to the entire collective human experience. Not disconnect. So here I was in search of the true answers to what it means to be Mexican American. Think about it. This device in our pocket, it's got creation tools. A production studio, a broadcast tower. We're living in this incredible age where we can stay connected and share our stories in amazing ways. So why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? <laughs> when I video, it's like fun for me, but I'm also learning like everything I've learned just sitting at a table. You learn the same things, but just like in a different way. For the multiple access points it provides and to the full range of expression. <laughs> Yeah, man, it totally opens doors to new and dynamic forms of communication. Why video? Can I just finish? Why? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give you a little math equation right now. Relevancy. Because we care for our topic. Plus complexity. I can actually dig deep. Equals higher order thinking. Boom. The other part wasn't really just something important that I was talking about. So I'm gonna put the interview early in because like it's a lot of deep thinking. It allows you to think deeper into yourself. It it makes you see things that you've never ever seen before. How would that person feel? How would I feel if I were that person? And what would the shock be? And how would it look to the person who's watching? Um, so I feel like I'm a much better writer. Yeah. You've got somebody who has got a skill set that they've helped you with. So Charlie said we he can do half a day tomorrow. You want to take a risk for one another to help bring each other's ideas to life? Yeah, World Economic Forum, man. What are they looking for? Project and people in management. Well, come on, we're on group. You know, that promotes healthy emotional skill sets. Executive functioning uh, duh. in the digital age. Wait, 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 we have to color code it. And it promotes this active, attentive listening. When we'd ask questions to make them better, we made it about Shark Tank. Which we know is a critical part of communication. And when you're attentive in that moment, you draw insights from those moments that otherwise could go unnoticed. Yep. I just said stuff on my mind. And I just probably made some more narration for me. So that's going to take another hour. When we flip the script and start showing our students the power of creation versus being someone who just allows the technology to control their life experience, we can move students from the type of people who post for the affirmation of likes to the type of person who's created something so beautiful, something game-changing, something worth sharing with their communities because they're bringing value to the people they interact with online and in person. So this year, we'll use technology with intention 
We'll make positive choices. We'll learn to design. We'll learn to code. We'll learn to program. We'll learn all about robotics. And we'll learn about the ways technology shapes the perceptions of the world around us and what we can do to leave a positive impact on our world. And I'd love for you to connect with me so you can see and hear about all the stories going on in our classroom.